Hey guys, it's me, Mary Beth Chapman, and here with me is Show Hope's Director of Communications, Nathan Magnus. Hey, Nathan. Hello. Oh, this is going to be fun. Steve and I have both a deep appreciation for excellence and integrity, whether it is him cutting a new album or me speaking on behalf of our family. The shared desire, of course, carries over into the work of Show Hope, particularly in storytelling or simply in the ways we talk about children and families. A common phrase that is uttered in the Show Hope hallways is words matter. It's a principle that we cling to and one that guides our work in and out day to day. Nathan, what does this phrase words matter mean to you and all we do here at Show Hope? It's a great question, Mary Beth. Um, what I love about this phrase is we trace it back to scripture as we do so many things here at Show Hope. Uh, you know, God created the universe with words. Mm -hmm. um, he chose a book to share awesome. his redemptive story with us. That's right. And um, so with that in mind, words have power. They can build up and they can tear down. And uh, with that thinking, um, we're careful in how we share stories of children and families. We, it's, it's a treasure to do so. And um, we, we incorporate people first language to show worth and dignity and value and um, yeah, words yeah. matter. I, I really appreciate it, and um, it, it it just means a ton. And um, I love that picture of of God just speaking creation. Yeah, He spoke the word, and there it was. So yep. that's that's amazing. So you talked a little bit about people first language. Um, will you expound on that just a little bit more? Yeah, I think the best way to um, explain people first languages to really just give some examples. Okay. And so, um, at show hope, we'll never use the t phrase orphaned child. Right. Um, we will use the term a child who has been orphaned. Okay. Or children who have been orphaned. Um, or better yet children. Yeah. Um, we don't want to place a descriptor on the child. We, want, we don't want to put meaning on the child. Um, for example, a special needs child. It's really a child with special needs. Yes. First and foremost, he or she is a child. Yes. And so um, that is lifting up in that people first language. It's, it's really, again, like I said, um, lifting up the value and the dignity and the worth of a person. Yeah. And in, in, our, in this case, children and families. Families. That's so, so good. So good. Thank you for sharing. And um, to get a little more practical, what does a typical day or week look like for you and your team here at Show Hope? Uh, that is, that's a great question. And it's a fun question yeah. because um, we can be knee deep in a video project and the next minute we could be writing a story about a family we we in the show hope the communications team really get get to sit in a unique seat where we get to interact with all of the different teams here and we have our hands in all different kinds of work yeah. and so um, seems like you guys have fun we do and you guys are kind of the mouthpiece of show hope so when we talk about words matter and when we talk about even visuals you know that words matter it carries into even the photos absolutely and all of that stuff and i really really appreciate the care and keeping that you do at show hope yeah i mean i think when you talk about the photos and the videos um we're never going to show a child in a desperate situation um or we're, we we want to show how beautiful they are yeah and so know? full of dignity too to, yeah. to really honor that yeah. it's their story to tell it, someday. absolutely that's another thing we often when we're particularly with photos or videos we we ask ourselves how will this child feel about this photo or this video when he or she is 25 yeah are they going to look back on it and be ashamed are they going to feel exploited right um, we want them to feel proud of yeah. who 
Well, thank you for that. Um, Nathan, can you share one thing about your work here at Show Hope that's life-giving to you personally? Um, yeah, so ever since I was a little boy, I don't think this will surprise you, um, I was a storyteller. I love to write stories, I've made up stories. Um, it's probably some of my earliest memories. I would sit in my room and just write. That's awesome. And, um, I get to do that today. Yeah. You know, I get to do that. I get to still tell stories, but in our storytelling, um, what's really beautiful is we're giving um, children and families a voice. Um, we're, we're raising awareness and um, we're getting the opportunity to shine a light and say, this work matters, this child matters, this family matters. And so, um, and you know, when I was a kid, it was just made up stories. Yeah, it was yeah, make yeah. believe, but now they're real life stories. And with and, such deep purpose and yeah. meaning. And so, well, again, we're so grateful you are here at Show Hope. Thank you. Um, before we go, I would love to know what you would say to a family who's on um, the adoption journey. Yeah, I love um, that Show Hope is with a family from day one to all the way through yeah. early teenage, late teenage, early adulthood. Um, you guys, you and Steven, have this commitment to journey deep with families and, and go far with them on this journey. Um, whether it's financial support to welcome home a child through adoption, all the way through providing resources for when they, that child's a teenager and the parent is saying, I don't know what to do. Um, you guys, are committed you've you know you've committed show up to be there along the way and so you know i love you i think it's you that often says that there is hope and there is help um along the way mm. and so i love that picture well, thanks for sharing that yeah. thanks for sharing that um thanks for your time thanks for all of you guys joining us here if you are interested in learning more about show hope's work or if you know someone who might benefit from our different areas of support visit showhope.org to learn more.